from the nation's capital, Eye on Washington with Merrilee Joyce. A weekly discussion about the federal issues most important to Nevada. And now, from Washington, D.C., here's Merrilee Joyce. Well, good day to you. I'm Marilee Joyce, and this is Eye on Washington, the only statewide Nevada news program produced in Washington, D.C. Every week, Eye on Washington takes you straight to Capitol Hill for a discussion with Nevada's delegation and other leaders about the federal matters that matter to you. Today's topic, he is at your service. In a time when you might need assistance with federal agencies and offerings more than ever before, we'll find out how one Nevada U.S. Congressman is working to meet the needs of his, uh, the growing needs of his constituents, and he is my my guest today, Nevada U.S. Congressman Joe Heck. Thanks for being here today. My pleasure. Thanks, Marley. Thank you. In this terribly tight time, we thought it important to talk with our audience about how our congressional delegation wants to help you with federal agency mm -hmm. matters that might be crucial to your economic and physical well-being right now. And today on Ion Washington, we'll tell you about Congressman Heck's specific offerings regarding how to reach agencies and really get the assistance to you that you need. We'll find out how he advocates for constituents who feel they've been neglected or treated unfairly by any federal department or program. And all right, we'll close out this show sharing several fun things that Congressman Heck wants to do for or give to you and your family, but the serious stuff first. You might imagine my guest on the House floor or in committee meetings or in visits with dignitaries, but he also spends a huge amount of time on what's called constituent services. That's stuff like helping Nevadans threatened with losing homes to foreclosure or advocacy work when you aren't hearing back or getting the runaround from a government agency or providing ways to prevent battle uh, or battle fraud. And while constituent services always is a big part of being a senator or a house member, you might need this type of help more in this rough economy than ever before. Now, if you visit heck.house.gov, you'll see a plethora of offerings that might be invaluable to your personal economy right now, like information on how to best reach Social Security, Medicare, Veterans Affairs, or other agency relied upon by our Nevada seniors and military members. Under Help for Veterans Alone, the Congressman offers help in 12 major areas, ranging from veterans seeking home loan assistance to how to get life insurance to how to get medical benefits. A couple other offerings quickly, seniors can get help with Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid questions. Questions or information for Nevada businesses in need of assistance and opportunities, advice on how to avoid scams, ripoffs, and other types of fraud, information on who's eligible for federal grants, and maybe the biggie, resources for Nevadans seeking employment. Congressman, you even offer uh, information on disaster preparedness, uh, among other services, but I really want to focus this show on your more economically related services, more important right now than ever before. Sure, and it's certainly the, the area where we seem to get the most requests for assistance right now is in those suffering from the housing crisis and, and are facing foreclosure. Um, so much so uh, that uh, in my office we actually hired a realtor to oversee the case management section of housing and foreclosures. We found that having somebody who's worked in the industry, who knows the lingo, uh, has much more success in trying to deal with mortgage brokers and bankers uh, than just somebody else who may have picked it up as, an, as a collateral duty. Uh, we have over 200 cases that we're working, and we do, um, we do them one-on-one. -on -one. We don't go out mm -hmm. and do big housing fairs and have people come in, uh, because people come in and I think they get a false sense of expectations when they come and uh, they meet with their banker there as part of a cattle call. Uh, what we do is provide one-on-one -on -one service, and so we encourage people that are having problems with uh, their home loans to call our office. They'll be put in contact with our housing case worker, and then we'll do that one-on-one -on -one service to try to offer them the opportunities mm -hmm. available to get them out of that housing crisis that they're suffering from. And, and it gives a, a, a little more uh, hopefulness to these people uh, when you feel like you're just kind of a part of the, the cattle call the group. Um, you're probably not as confident you're really going to get the help you need. No, it's true. And so we, we will sit down one-on-one, -on -one, go over your specific situation in depth, and then look at what program may be available to help you. Mm -hmm. Make the phone calls on your behalf to your loan service. What we're finding right now is that one of the biggest obstacles is nobody knows who really holds their mortgage note and help them navigate through that to find out who actually is the person that you should be dealing with uh, to try to figure out if you can get a refi or what can be done to keep you in your home. And those are the types of services we offer in housing. Well, one thing, if I can give my little thought, uh, what I liked about uh, when, when I went to your site and navigated all through this before the show, and, and we are going to get to how to contact you in our next segment, but you know, your, your site indicates that as the District 3 
three representatives, you encourage Nevadans who are hurting to get a hold of you. And again, I think, as I said before, a lot of people just imagine you're on the floor voting, you're doing this, but much of your service here, even though you're in D.C., is working for those people. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, that's why I was sent to Washington, was really to advocate on behalf of the folks back in District 3. Mm -hmm. And everything that I do, whether it's here or whether, whether it's uh, when I'm back in the district, all revolves around trying to serve the folks that sent me here uh, to represent their needs. And, you know, as you know, Merrilee, we have the most populous congressional district in the country right now, mm -hmm. over one million people. Uh, and so it's very difficult to try to reach out and make sure we're taking care of everyone. But I believe I have one of the best staffs, if not the best staff in Congress, working every day for the folks back home. That, that, that's a good plug for them. I, I know some of them, and they are great folk. Um, you know, on the page that mentions, for example, I just want to get to this quickly, uh, you, you mentioned uh, help for Social Security or, or, or veterans' cases, uh, and you, you do say, look, we can't promise a positive uh, outcome in every case, you know, um, you, you do what you can, but you've said you want your constituents to know that you and your staff will try to help them resolve case and claim problems with these and other agencies. So again, it really is a one-on-one -on -one thing. If you get you get their right. claim, you find out what's going on, you contact the or your staff, whoever is with the caseworker, goes to that agency. and. Correct. And, and after housing, the number two and three issues are Social Security benefits sure. and veterans benefits. And again, we have somebody in our office uh, who is a specialist in veterans affairs. Uh, we have a uh, retired Marine Corps gunnery sergeant. We're soon will be adding a wounded warrior to our office Great. Uh, who will be helping with veterans issues. So people that have actually been through the process uh, to be able to reach out and help. Uh, and likewise with Social Security, the thing is people have been wrapped up in the process for so long. Uh, that they just want a conclusion, they want resolution, they just want to know, do I qualify, don't I qualify, what am I going to get? And that's what we try to do is expedite the process and get them that answer. Okay, in our next segment we're going to tell them how to get a hold of you and uh, exactly uh, how to get those resources that you need, and that's right after this. You're watching Eye on Washington with Marilee Joyce. Brought to you by the National Mining Association, the Freest Companies, Caesars Entertainment and the Energy the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority Western Lithium Corporation and Skyline Restaurant and Casino America's minerals have made us a nation of self-reliant dreamers shaping our world and the endless ways we enjoy it but red tape often forces us to import more than half the minerals we depend on. Minerals we already have. We don't import our dreams. Shouldn't that go for our minerals too? The National Mining Association. Learn more at nma.org. You already watch Eye on Washington with Marilee Joyce, Nevada's only statewide program produced in Washington, D.C. But for even more news from Capitol Hill that affects you, your family, and your business, you need to read Nevada's Washington Watch, our online newsletter. In-depth reporting on federal efforts that impact you. Our exclusive Inside the Beltway column, putting a microscope on Nevada's congressional delegation. Guest editorials about what Nevada needs from the Hill. Nevada's Washington Watch, your watch on Washington. Subscribe today at nevadaswashingtonwatch.com. Heads we go, tails we stay. A coin flip, that's how it all began for what is now Nevada's largest transportation provider. Charlie Frias, with a can-do spirit and support of his loving wife Phyllis, bought ABC Union Cab in 1966. They then parlayed five cabs into a fleet of nearly 1,000. And today, Frias has over 2,000 employees and was recently voted Las Vegas' best company to work for. Frias, safe, reliable, simply the best. technology make our lives better. Will geothermal, wind, and solar energy be a bigger part of our future? Yes. And soon it will all be in our backyard. Learn more at nvenergy.com. And welcome back to Eye on Washington, our discussion of one Nevada leader's work to help you get the federal help you might need more than ever before in this tight economy. He is my guest today, Nevada U.S. Congressman Joe Heck. 
We touched on the what last segment. Let's spend this segment telling you the how. How can a Nevadan get that crucial federal information he or she needs from our Nevada delegation? Well, if you live in my guest district three, you're going to go to heck.house.gov. On the menu bar, you'll see resources and you'll see serving you. Now, resources has very wide range of the most serious types of help, including, for example, assistance for military personnel, help with seniors regarding Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid, veterans offerings. Uh, employment resources, student financial aid, a lot more than I can pack into one segment. Under Serving You, there is specific information on how to get help from a federal agency, including a form you can fill out and submit to Congressman Heck's office. Now, for those of you in District 1, you'd go to Congresswoman Berkeley's site, berkeley.house.gov, and uh, as we are taping this program, there's not yet a new con uh, congressperson representing District 2, but the offices of Senator Reed and Senator Heller are there for you, reed.senate.gov and heller.senate.gov and those offices all are listed right now on your screen. And Congressman, let me let me say quickly that those you know we we have a, a statewide radio office who didn't write down the information. Of course, can can give a call to your office or the senator's office. Um, go just go to their websites, uh, etc. But you know. I went over your site, as I said, as I worked out today's show, and uh, there's not only a, a plethora of information, but it's not an, uh, it's not very intimidating um, as as far as how it helps Nevadans. And I thought the big deal was that it, it, a very easy form to fill out. Your office is going to get it. Mm -hmm. There are uh, ways to contact both your DC and your Vegas uh, or your District Three office. Tell right. us about that, Henderson. Well, the one thing we found is that uh, sometimes people in their time of need and they want to go to a website to get information and, and they just are overwhelmed, uh, just not in navigating the website, uh, but just looking at all the possible options. And so we wanted to make it as simple as possible for people who needed to contact us because of an issue that they were having. They're already stressed and frustrated. Sure. We didn't want to make the website even more stressful and more frustrating. The other thing we did is that we put our personal release of information form on the website in a, in a PDF fillable format because what we found is uh, oh. we can't do much until somebody gives us the permission to inquire on their behalf. And so there was a delay, right. and they would call the office, we would mail them a form, they would send it back. This way they can download the form, or fill it out online, and mail it or, or fax it to us right away. And we can start their case immediately once we receive that form. And that's really cut down on, on the sure. lag time. You, you, you mentioned you're hiring uh, caseworkers to uh, go to a more broad range of issues, but I even in the um, the more uh, basic and, and busy issues, you mentioned foreclosure, uh, job resources, uh, Social Security, Medicaid, or Medicare. What, what have you seen, um, what's your office seen as far as an increase of people writing to you and wanting this kind of help in, 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 over the last year? Well, it, it's certainly been very busy. Again, being the most populous district, we get almost 3,000 constituent contacts a week, whether it's a phone call, an email, not all asking for help, but people you know, calling or writing in to let us know what their feelings are or positions are on a particular issue uh, and we probably open up almost 100 to 150 new cases a week wow. uh, across the spectrum of different issues uh, and so it's a very busy time uh, although we have a uh, a population that we serve of uh, a million, uh, we still have the same staff size as most other congressional districts based on budgeting. And so they're working very hard every day to make sure that we can respond to people's needs in a timely manner. I, I found interesting under the, uh, the the federal agency help page that you even offer help for those struggling, having problems with the IRS. <laughs> well, you know, every once in a while, uh, probably more than we, often than not, somebody will call in and there's a garnishment that's been started or they're having difficulties negotiating a settlement. Uh, and so we have the ability to intervene on their behalf, try to figure out what's going on again once they fill out that all-important sure. personal release of information form so that we can then get access to their records uh, and we work every possible opportunity we have people assigned to every cabinet level agency mm -hmm. with an area of expertise in that agency to, to take care of the folks that's, in district that's fantastic Three. you know um i do want to ask because we're going to get a little lighter in our next segment but in in this rough economy uh, which is obviously hitting nevada more than anywhere else uh, what do you see as your main federal role in helping hurting constituents well it's trying to get them access to the services that they need and that they deserve and that they've earned in many cases uh, to try to help them during this very difficult time in our economy. So whether it's getting them the, their veterans benefits that they have earned, whether it's making sure their Social Security check is arriving on time, whether it's helping them do something in their housing situation, whether it's a refi or some other program that they might be eligible for, my goal and my role is to make sure that whatever the resources are that are available, that we, my office, connects that individual with those resources. Sounds great. And we are going to lighten it up a little bit right after this segment. Stay with us. Every 
day, thousands of people in northern Nevada don't get enough to eat. One out of five children in northern Nevada go to bed hungry every night. But you can do something about it. Catholic Community Services of Northern Nevada has been providing help and creating hope in our community for more than 65 years. By donating food, time, or money, you can make a difference in a hungry person's life. When you make your generous donation to St. Vincent's Dining Room and St. Vincent's Food Pantry, you're helping to fight the scourge of hunger in Northern Nevada. In these tough economic times, now more than ever, we need to help those less fortunate. To find out how you can donate to St. Vincent's Dining Room in St. Vincent's Food Pantry, call, click, or stop by, and together we can end hunger in Northern Nevada. Thanks to an ongoing commitment by America's mining companies, more than two million acres already have been reclaimed. To learn more about reclamation or other aspects of mining, visit nma.org. The National Mining Association. You already watch Eye on Washington with Marilee Joyce, Nevada's only statewide program produced in Washington, D.C. But for even more news from Capitol Hill that affects you, your family, and your business, you need to read Nevada's Washington Watch, our online newsletter. In-depth reporting on federal efforts that impact you. Our exclusive Inside the Beltway column, putting a microscope on Nevada's congressional delegation. Guest editorials about what Nevada needs from the Hill. Nevada's Washington Watch, your watch on Washington. Subscribe today at nevadaswashingtonwatch.com. Heads we go, tails we stay. A coin flip, that's how it all began for what is now Nevada's largest transportation provider. Charlie Frias, with a can-do spirit and support of his loving wife, Phyllis, bought ABC Union Cab in 1966. They then parlayed five cabs into a fleet of nearly 1,000. And today, Frias has over 2,000 employees and was recently voted Las Vegas' best company to work for. Frias, safe, reliable, simply the best. All of us at Caesars Entertainment have something we want to say. Play responsibly. Play responsibly. We don't want you to gamble if you've had too much to drink. You shouldn't gamble if you're lonely or depressed. And if you're under 21, you're not allowed to play. No, no, no. No matter which of our casinos you come to, our message is always the same. Play responsibly. Play responsibly. Play responsibly. We know you're coming to our casinos to have a good time. And we always want you to leave feeling like you did. And welcome back to Eye on Washington, our discussion of one Nevada U.S. Congressman's constituent services, some of which are more important than ever in this challenging economy. And we've been visiting with him, of course, Nevada U.S. Congressman Joe Heck. Okay, let's not be completely urgent and dire and no fun on today's show. While Congressman Heck is here for you on all matters, Social Security, Veterans Affairs, Consumer Protection, etc., you will find a lot of stuff on the Serving You page of his website that ranges from merely positive to a whole lot of fun. Let's look at a handful of them now. How would you like a personal greeting from the President? Congressman Heck can help you get a birthday wish, anniversary salute, wedding well wishes, or congratulations on that new baby from our President. Another favorite things he does for Nevada? As a member of Congress, he's allowed to officially recognize outstanding public achievement by folks in his district. You can request his congressional commendation for a multiple of, uh, multitude of things like citizenship, graduation, becoming an Eagle Scout, election or appointment to public office, a gold star, even heroism. So if you have a hero in your life, kindly let Congressman Heck know. Are you coming to Washington soon? Want a personal tour of the U.S. Capitol or other D.C. site? The Congressman's Office can provide you with a tour of the Capitol and help you get information you need regarding visits to other D.C. landmarks. If you're a high school college student, uh, high school or college student thinking an internship with the U.S. Congressman is just what your resume needs as you prepare for that or prepare for the job in this tight economy. Well, Congressman is always looking for the best and brightest from Nevada's high schools and colleges for internship programs at both his D.C. and Nevada offices. And that's just a small example sure. of some of the less urgent uh, offerings. But I wanted to give the, a more wide range of what sure. you offer. Do you have any fun stories of, of anything? Uh, I know you have interns here, but uh, well, any greetings or commendations? I, I think uh, the internship program is a great program. Uh, it's certainly 
certainly they're a big help to us in both offices. Uh, and we, like you said, we take high school and college students, and we have a pretty big cadre both in the uh, Las Vegas office and in our uh, office here in Washington, D.C. It's a great opportunity uh, for young people to come in and, and see how government works uh, or tries to work, uh, and then take that experience back with them uh, wherever they may go. I also enjoy uh, flying flags over the Capitol for special occasions. We get a lot of requests for flags. Well, I was going to ask um, you specifically being military of it. That was we do get an awful big, big uh, an awful lot of requests, especially for military okay. retirements yeah. uh, or recognition. And, and I think one of the other really great things is the ability to uh, give a personal tour to folks that may be visiting, especially if it's their first visit to Washington D.C. To be able to give them that insider's perspective of the Capitol and walk them around and talk to them about the the Capitol building itself, uh, it brings uh, I think a, a lot of understanding to them, and it's also uh, very rewarding for us. You know, um, uh, several years ago, um, when uh, uh, my family was up from New Orleans, my, um, the Congresswoman Berkeley, uh, in her office, the, one of the schedulers is at a, a, a Dawson, uh, the you know, and, and took us on this like two-hour tour of the Capitol. And it's just interesting how you can arrange that through your offices. And several of you, of course, have brought interns into this show. So I'm hoping I'm shaping some minds to either get into television or run from it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> run from it. Um, how, many, how many interns would you, would you take in a, in a semester or a? Well, we'll take as many as we have available desk space uh, uh, wow. available. And uh, in our um, Las Vegas office, for instance, over the summer when there were a lot of uh, available high school students, at the peak we had six interns working. Mm. Uh, here in, uh, in the Washington office, the peak we've had about four. Uh, but that's all based on uh, the available space that we have. Uh, many of the students uh, and that mostly we had, are Nevadans. Mostly are, mm -hmm. uh, whether they're here in college studying in uh, Washington D.C. and available for an internship, or obviously back in Las Vegas, a high school student. Um, wow. I go out and uh, speak to the high schools, and that's where I, I s tend to recruit most of my uh, interns from. I'll put sure. out the offer as I speak to high school classes, uh, and then fortunately, many of them will then uh, call our office and apply for an internship. How exciting! And how difficult would it be? I, I mentioned, uh, you know, the, the the greetings from the president, etc. How would a person? Someone's got a, a wedding anniversary coming up and uh, how would they get that information to your office and then you would you would get that along to the president the best way to do it is, is through our website as you've mentioned many times heck.house.gov sure. uh, they can send the request through the email system there there are certain parameters uh, through the White House sure. it's got to be a certain age for the birthday or a certain many years mm -hmm. of uh, anniversary uh, but then once we receive it through the email system uh, somebody will follow up with them personally and then we'll usher it through the process and, and get the greeting for them I think uh, we are going to go to our mailbag segment and, uh, as we close out our next segment, but I, I do want to give you the opportunity to say, again, even if it's a letter from the president, even if it's Social Security, even if it's a, your thing is one-on-one. -on -one. It's not constituent services right. for you, it's constituent. It's, it's all services. personal service for us. We have a very a big great. customer service mentality in our office. That's great, thanks. We are going to be right back with our mailbag segment right after this. All of us at Caesars Entertainment have something we want to say. Play responsibly. Play responsibly. We don't want you to gamble if you've had too much to drink. You shouldn't gamble if you're lonely or depressed. And if you're under 21, you're not allowed to play. No, no, no. No matter which of our casinos you come to, our message is always the same. Play responsibly. Play responsibly. Play responsibly. We know you're coming to our casinos to have a good time. And we always want you to leave feeling like you did. America's minerals have made us a nation of self-reliant dreamers, shaping our world and the endless ways we enjoy it. But red tape often forces us to import more than half the minerals we depend on. Minerals we already have. We don't import our dreams. Shouldn't that go for our minerals too? The National Mining Association. Learn more at nma.org. You already watch Eye on Washington with Marilee Joyce, Nevada's only statewide program produced in Washington, D.C. But for even more news from Capitol Hill that affects you, your family, and your business, you need to read Nevada's Washington Watch, our online newsletter. In-depth reporting on federal efforts that impact you. Our exclusive Inside the Beltway column, putting a microscope on Nevada's congressional delegation. Guest editorials about what Nevada needs from the Hill. Nevada's Washington Watch, your watch on Washington. Subscribe today at nevadaswashingtonwatch.com. Built on a fleet of just five cabs bought in 1966 by founder Charlie Frias, Frias Transportation is now Nevada's largest transportation provider. Today, Frias has a fleet of nearly 1,000 vehicles and more than 2,000 employees. 
As an industry and community leader, Frias continues to create the future of transportation technology and management and actively supports the community. Continuing the legacy of quality service in the Las Vegas Valley. Simply the best. Thanks to an ongoing commitment by America's mining companies, more than two million acres already have been reclaimed. To learn more about reclamation or other aspects of mining, visit nma.org. The National Mining Association. And we are back with our closing segment of Eye on Washington. It is, of course, our mailbag segment. In this segment, we tell you about an issue that the Congressional Mailbag page of the Joyce Communication website has been getting a lot of correspondence about. We read one of your letters on the air, and then we invite our guests to respond to you right here. And Congressman, surprise, surprise, your office has been getting a lot of mail to us about jobs. And I have a letter here. Uh, from David G. of Sparks, who writes, Dear Congressman Heck, you have urged the President to come up with a written plan to increase the number of jobs. What are some of the things you would advocate he implement to increase jobs in the state of Nevada? Well, that's a great question, and so obviously something that we're very focused on, almost with laser precision right now here in Congress. Um, you know, certainly we've got to get to the point where we have reasonable regulation that ensures safety, whether it's for consumers, individuals, the environment, but regulations that don't strangle business. And, and we've seen a move, uh, and I believe, towards overregulation, uh, where we've seen job creation slowed uh, because of the burden placed on businesses, both small, medium, large, uh, from a regulatory standpoint. So I think we've got to find that, that middle ground that provides safety, uh, but doesn't overly burden uh, businesses, because ultimately those are the folks that are going to create the job. So I think that's number one. Number two is we've got to provide more stability and predictability, uh, not just to, to businesses, but to individuals uh, regarding their tax burden and what the tax structure is going to look like. Uh, so I think if we look at regulation, I think if we look at tax structure, then we need to look at uh, where should we be investing uh, federal dollars? Mm. Uh, we recently had a uh, hearing in Las Vegas on the Workforce Investment Act. The Educational Workforce Committee came out there, thought we're better to hear about what's needed to create jobs than in the place with the highest unemployment rate. Uh, and so we, we have federal resources that need to be used wisely in getting folks retrained into jobs that will exist as opposed to trying to find jobs for them that may no longer exist based on our economy. So uh, you would tell David G. of Sparks that you have a, a plan, that you are uh, trying your hardest to help Nevadans find jobs and are going to encourage the, the White House sure. to, to follow suit. And, and the legislation that we're working on personally in our office uh, is geared towards those areas. It's looking at uh, financial stability. It's looking at regulatory burden. It's looking at uh, workforce creation. And those are the things that we're working on in legislation out of our office. And as we close out today, I do want to say again, heck.house.gov, job resources, uh, struggling business resources, and a plethora of other resources that you need to read, right? All that? there for you. <laughs> Thanks for being here today. Thank you. That does wrap up this week's Eye on Washington. Be sure to watch us next time for more congressional issues that you care about. I'm Marilee Joyce in Washington, D.C. Good day.